you already know what it is, man. Salute to every single one of y'all. Gang, gang, I don't bang. It's a Sunday, man. Salute to everybody out there that watches this content, whether religiously or in passing. Football's about to come out. So I'm going to get this blog out so we can get on about our day, bro. Whoa, what in the hell is going on, man? Murder Mook. Shout out to Murder Mook and everything that he does, man. Uh, I'm pulling up this interview, man. He has an interview right now on um, Hip Hop is Real. Salute to Hip Hop is Real and everything that they do. About the whole Briz situation. Brisden, Brisden talk. Brisden talk 18 battles already, man. He done had. Briz, <laughs> Brisden had <laughs> 60 rounds already in talk. In talk. Brisden, man, Briz, he's a bozo. At Wawa in Delaware. Shout out to Delaware, man. If you've never been to a Wawa, Wawa got a lot of good things in there. You can go in there, you can get a sandwich. You can get your roll-ups, you can get the smoothie, the gas, everything. Wawa, dope, you know what I'm saying? And they got other spots like Royal Farms in the South. I know they got Sheets, they got Quick Trip. What's y'all store? Like, where you from? Where, what do they got down there? What do they call it? You know what I'm saying? I know Sheets be on a lot of the highways and things. But uh, it was at a Wawa in Delaware, man. This infamous story has come back to play. Uh, it was spoke about like some years ago, you know, with Briz, the whole uh, falling out. See. I was one of the ones that said Briz hasn't battled in over four years, you know what I'm saying? But he's starting to continue to keep himself in the algorithm, keep people talking about him, whether good, bad, or indifferent. People want to see him battle, you know what I'm saying? I heard that there was a bunch of battles offered, and, you know, he's standing on what he's standing on, and he's probably, I don't know when we're going to see him. I really don't know, you know what I'm saying, at this point. Um, I know there's probably some nerves involved because... When you battle, you're going to have to face whatever it is. Like when Tay Rock battled against Gichi Gotti, after the whole incident, you don't ride with your round. You're going to find, you're going to see a round. But you'll battle yourself out of it because you'll always have angles. You know what I'm saying? People are going to always have angles, whatever the case may be. But um, now, Murder Mook is speaking. You know what I'm saying? And normally, Murder Mook don't normally address people like directly as far as like, in situations like this, you know what I'm saying? I see the thing with him and Hitman Holler going back and forth, but that's more so for a battle so I can see it happen. I did see Hitman Holler about to drop an interview about him. He was talking crazy too, so we're going to see how that goes. And I'll be back to talk about that one. But with the whole murder move thing, it's like this, right? So being who he is, when he hears about the certain things that are going on, like Briz and Calico in the spaces going back and forth, like they back and forth was very heated. And Briz is talking about this Wawa situation. It was spoken about on several different occasions and there's different accounts. What it seems to me like is Mook and Rex was at a Wawa. You know what I'm saying? You buy a sandwich, you park up, you eat, whatever the case may be. Someone saw them there. They're very noticeable people in battle rap. Like when you're a known person in battle rap, I don't give a damn who you are. When you go, sir, people are gonna see you. You're gonna be seen. What kind of shit is here? You know what I'm saying? It's not like a big time celebrity type deal, but it's like some hood shit, you know what I'm saying? Niggas in the hood like battle rap, they see somebody that they know they're gonna say something. When I see people all the time, they will say something, you know what I'm saying? So if you in a certain place for too long, if somebody got an issue with you, they can call them, you know what I'm saying? So whoever this was that saw them made a phone call, made a phone call. Hey, yo, your man is out here, what's up? What you wanna do? In Delaware, especially if they're in the right part, like Wilmington is very small. You can get anywhere. Like if you're in Wilmington or like a Smyrna or even in Dover, you can get to certain spots very quick. You know what I'm saying? So if niggas is lamped up, chilling, and somebody got that drop on you, <clears throat> a nigga can get there. And you know what I'm saying? The internet plays a part too. I'll talk about the internet real quick. Like ever since Briz hasn't been battling, he knows every time he tweets or goes live or he talks or it's a controversial subject, all they're gonna talk about is Mook, 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 Mook. You ain't battled because of Mook. Mook done did this. Mook done battled this time, this time, this time, this time. And basically this man has really stopped your career. You know what I'm saying? Like not battling in four years is a substantial amount of money that he has not made. I don't care what anybody, no, way, no matter what way anybody paints it. And I rock with Briz, I got no issue with him. You know what I'm saying? I'm just talking about the situation, you know what I'm saying? You're gonna feel a way about that. And he does, you know what I'm saying? Like he feels a way and he expresses it when he talks and when he's in his interviews and things like that. And as of recent, 
when I heard that last spaces, he was on some people wanted to see what they what people's hands was like. You know what I'm saying? Before it was normally rap or they had normal disagreements and shit. But this time around, he was really talking heavy, like he wanted to fight, whatever the case may be. So Mook is getting wind of this, you know what I'm saying? And the internet is a motherfucker, because like I said, people keep throwing this at you, throwing this at you, throwing this at you. Bro, the internet is so crazy now. I just seen that they had hit up Yo Gotti's brother yesterday, and the body and everything is online. They put everything online now. It's going to be right there, bam. So when these situations happen, whether it be fights, disagreements, Bam, it's going right on the internet, you know what I'm saying? You got to see it and deal with it every single day. So, um, when Mook is giving his side of the story. And like I said, there's three sides of every story, but <laughs> the way Mook is talking to you is crazy. Like I, I, like, I was like, I had to take notes, you know what I'm saying? So, I'm listening to the interview, and Mook comes out and he says, Briz is all talk. He done had nine battles and 60 rounds rode already and all this other shit saying that you have a bunch of battles that you could have had didn't do and he's basically throwing it in your face that I stopped your career didn't I say I got it from here I stopped your career you know what I'm saying it's to the point where it feels like Briz is not even here and he hasn't battled in so long that to have Mook on you like this this interview on hip hop is real is easily going to do 100,000 views easily and it's not outside the confines of battle rap because this has happened in a battle they were supposed to battle like a hundred times and now it's all the schematics of it. So I don't look at this as an issue because it's like, yo, what are we doing here? So he says, why you keep bringing my name up? Well, you know, Moot, I want to say it like this, you know what I'm saying? Shout out to you too, you know what I'm saying? You hit me up the other day, I hit you back, but whatever the case may be. You guys have to, you Riz too, you know what I'm saying? Y'all got to realize one thing, right? Y'all are some of the biggest names in battle rap. You cannot be one of the biggest names in battle rap and feel some way when people mention you. You know what I'm saying? Like, dude, you're like a LeBron James or like a Michael Jordan. Like, you're one of the apex figures in battle rap all the time. You're going to be spoke about. Whether it's good way, bad way, whether people feel you're doing good, people feel you're doing bad. And you know that. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know you know how the game goes. There's been battles where I've had Murder Move winning going into the battle. And there's been battles where I've had to come back and be like, yo, Mook killed this dude, blah, 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 blah. And I have no, no problem doing it because I hold him to a high regard, right? So when I say that, you're like, why he keeps bringing your name up? Well, they're asking him about you every time he has a fucking interview or every time it's an issue. When him and Cal gets into an issue, Cal brings you up. And then guess what? He's got to go there. <laughs> so it's not like he's bringing, you know what I mean? So that's another thing. He said, you didn't want to battle three times. I didn't know it was three times. Damn, that's three whole times. They was, I thought it was twice. I might have missed the time. It happened so much that, hey, you know, life be life be life. And I, it just went right by me, man. Three times. He says, they spotted each other at Wawa. He said, uh, Mook is a New York nigga. A New York nigga to the core. And I'm going to tell you this, right? This is why I respect Mook. You know what I'm saying? I can say what y'all want. But in a situation like this, He's thinking with his head, just he's thinking smart. If I'm in a certain area where I'm not from, you know what I'm saying, and some static pops off, my first thought is making it out of here safe. I'm not gonna crash out just because somebody says something or just because somebody wants to get it in. Like I'm not gonna run either, but I'm gonna assess the situation because there's many people in many graveyards who did not assess situations and made sure that, yo, my main concern is getting out of here. You start wilding and then they got your car blocked and then what you do, you know what I'm saying? Like, yo, you gotta really know what the hell is going on in these streets, you know what I'm saying? Because shit do happen every single day out here, you know what I'm saying? Like I just told y'all, I seen the situation with um, Gotti brother yesterday, you know what I mean? But uh, it is what it is. So uh, moving on. I need a, I need a, rough, I need a one on one with your man. Nigga <laughs> Rex like, the fuck you wanna, me? Nigga said, man, nigga said, Briz, Mook hit you that hard that you forgot, nigga said. So he says he thinks he got to get out safe. And then he says, Rex starts saying, Mook hit you that hard you forgot because Briz wanted a conversation with him for throwing the bottle. And then they like, they had to show him the footage. This is all the shit that people was not talking about. Like, if you come for wreck with somebody and they got to show you the footage to verify something, and then you, uh, they, <laughs> niggas is going in the book bag. And they said Briz had a hammer, like a nail hammer. I think that is wild as hell. The nerve of you. <laughs> but you That's know, like, disrespect. That's like, what was you going to do? See who's going to bludgeon these niggas? <laughs> Yo! <laughs> was... <laughs> Yo, it would have been really hard to... to, to, to... 
<laughs> with for two people, dog, because somebody's gonna be oh man, I oh man. I don't know what you had going on. So Mook is saying uh he they showed him the footage, they had the book bag, and, and Mook was just basically saying that Briz is finished, you know what I'm saying? He said he finished himself, you know what I mean? Like he's like, yo, he don't wanna battle, he's not gonna battle. And then he was just talking about the way they be talking about each other behind their back when they're saying, yo, I'm not this person or I'm not that person. And I just think that this situation has gone way further than it should have been. You know what I'm saying? Like, this could have been this could have been news that nobody's even been thinking about right now. Even with the whole swing and the whole everything, it's just, it lingers on because Briz hasn't battled and Briz is around battle rap. People are saying, oh, why is he around? Well, he could do what he wants. He can go to an event. Who's telling him he cannot go to an event? He can go to events, he can host them, he can do whatever the fuck he wants to do. It's his personal prerogative. Now. Are people going to be uncomfortable with him? Are going to be trolling him and talking shit? Yeah, they're going to do that. They do that about everything. So you can't be surprised at that. Because I know he be feeling like why are people talking about him, but he has to realize the same thing that everybody just said about Mook. When you're a top tier battle rapper, your name is going in the headlines, whether you're battling or not. When Jazz wasn't battling, if something happened, it was still going on them headlines. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, your name is your acclaim. You know what I'm saying? It's what, it is what it is. There's some people who wish their name could be regarded to in a high level, you know what I'm saying? There's a lot of events going on that people are like dying to get promoted, that people are dying to be talked about, and you know, it is what it is. So it's like, you can't, once you get there, you can't act like, I'm surprised I'm here, and they're like, why are you surprised? Like, this is what it is. This comes with the game, you know what I'm saying? The lights, the cameras, the action, the people talking shit. So, Mook is basically like, yo, my dog, you finished. Like, nobody wants to hear from you again. Uh, do I think Briz is finished? No, but at the same time, it's like we're going into year five of no battling. That's crazy how long it's been since he's battled. I don't know if he has anything coming up, you know what I'm saying? I, I see a lot of cars that are going to jump around, but I haven't heard anything even minutely close to him getting back in the ring. Now, I hope it happens for, for, for the sake of battle rap. Not It doesn't have to necessarily be against Mook because this situation is getting really, really ugly. You know what I'm saying? To the point where Mook is doing a whole <laughs> interview and uh, he's wild, you know what I'm saying? Like he's laughing, he don't, and, and, and I'm be honest with you, uh, I don't know, I take things for face value and <laughs> he do sound like he, he's not he's not straying away from his truth. So whether, you know, it could be your truth versus his truth, but he's saying how he felt about the situation. And you know, I, I definitely respect the fact that once you see a hammer on somebody, we can't jump you. We're allowed to do that. You know what I'm saying? Like, first of all, everybody that's in the car with a person is normally gonna get busy with them. Cause this ain't really the days of like fair ones and shit. I don't think fair ones really go on no more. Where y'all from? Do niggas, do niggas be really be having fair ones? Like if y'all pull up at a gas station and nigga run up on y'all, y'all gonna let your man just have a one-on-one -on -one, or y'all gonna pack him out and get the fuck out of there? I think I know the answer. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I think I know the answer. You know what I'm saying? Especially if that person have a ham on them. Like, ah. <laughs> it might have to be a cleanup on our five. We might, we might have to just do that. You know what I'm saying? But uh, yeah, man, it's just, it's just a situation that's gone way further than it should, and I don't know where it ends. You know what I'm saying? But um, shout out to Murder Mook. You know what I'm saying? He, he, he's always gonna be entertaining. And shout out to Hip Hop is real. You know what I'm saying? Continuing to do what they do because they be out there to get this stuff. And you know what I'm saying? They bring it back, and everybody else talks about it. And you know what I'm saying? We give our personal opinions and thoughts. But yeah, Mook is on here. He's on a tirade on you, Briz. Like for real. NFL Sunday, man. Let me get my picks, man. Get my picks, man. Get my picks, dog. Let me see who I got this t -t 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 -day, today in the NFL. <sighs> Dallas versus Green Bay. Oh, uh, man. Dallas. I got Dallas winning that one. 27-17. Uh, I just feel like Dallas got a really good defense this year. And Green Bay, while they do have Jordan Love and a couple weapons, I like Aaron Jones. But I don't think they're going to have enough to get by today. That's just my personal opinion. Rams versus the Lions. Oh, man. Stafford versus Goff. That's going to be kind of crazy. Um, I'm going with the home team Lions. I like Laporta's matchup. Um, who else we got? Uh, the Steelers versus the Bills on Monday night. I got the Bills. And the Tampa Bay Buccaneers versus the Eagles, who have lost damn near every single game they've seen. Um, wow, no AJ Brown. Mm. I think they can still get by. 
21-17. Um, and with the one that I owe, oh, the, the Bills versus the Steelers, I got that 31-14. I got the Bills going to work, you know what I'm saying? So I'm going to go with them. With them. But other than that, man, salute to every single one of y'all. You already know what's going on, gang, gang. Going back. Yeah.